Teddy Feinberg, Brooke Stockberger, Teddy and Brooke show. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside. Oh, it's an awesome fall day. I want to be outside working. I'm going to move my computer outside. Nicest time of year in Las Cruces, you think? I think so, fall. Clearly. You got football, you got playoff baseball, and you got this wonderful weather. October is just money. Oh. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, let's go, let's start talking about sports, please. Sure. I think I brought it up now, I'm yelling at you. I'm um, you did mention football, and we're going to go to football. We're going to talk about Rice at New Mexico State, 6 p.m. Saturday game. Now, the Aggies have played Texas. They've played UCLA. They've played Minnesota. They've obviously played their two rivals, their rivals, rivalry games. And, of course, they also played San Diego State. But the Rice is a great team. Yeah, I think they're really good. Rice gets overlooked sometimes because, you know, they used to be in the old Southwest Conference. They're a really small school. Real strong academic. It would be sport. very bright to get in there. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> and they have you struggle recruiting there sometimes. But they're doing well this year. They have a really good running game, which could spell trouble for the Aggies. They're very balanced, and and they're and Brooke mentions their running game, and they're very versatile in their run game. I mean, they'll run a little option. They'll run some zone read. They'll run some toss. They'll run some power, and they can also throw the football. And they got a good quarterback, of course, but they also have very good wide receivers. They have a six foot five wide receiver. They have a good offensive line. They have good running backs. They're just good. They have good, good players on their defense. and um, They're solid. Brooke, I'm scared. I'm just say. scared, Brooke. I'm scared. Well, it's, it's a special game, too. It's the pink game, it you is. know, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. A lot of people will be out there wearing their pink. You know, you want to have – this is probably the last chance for the Aggies to have a, a decent crowd if they don't do something. I hate to be negative, but – it probably is. So. Well, you're being honest. <laughs> they want to go out and do well. They've had a week off to get ready for this game. You know, I, it, if you held a gun to my head, there's no way I could pick an Aggie victory, but I still hope they do. Right. And the week, obviously, the extra week of preparation is big, and they made some moves in that extra week where they're, they moved some defensive players around. And I definitely think we could see a switch at quarterback as well, or at least freshman King Davis could play more, particularly in the season second half, although. Uh, I have like Andrew McDonald, the senior this year, but certainly they also have to get King out yeah. there to see if he can be the guy. So, um, you know, there are some things to watch, and hopefully the Aggies can get better in the second half of the year. I don't yeah, know if it's going to come this week. This is a very good team, and they have Abilene Christian next week. Maybe there's some wins in the second half of the year. Yeah, there could be, and we've seen, even with Texas, but also, you know, with uh, San Diego State, they've played a good couple quarters. You know, it's just putting that whole four quarters together. I hate to speak in cliches, but that's really what they need to do. And they've fallen apart in the second half in a lot of these games. Particularly from the run defensive standpoint. Yeah. They've gotten ran on this year. That's an understatement. Um, we should also, Brooke brought up the pink game. It's definitely a good cause. Again, breast cancer awareness. Everyone should be aware of it. And everyone should try to get out there and support the cause because it's a great cause. And Are you going to wear pink? Plus, you get a chance to wear pink. I think I've grown out of all my to be brutally <laughs> honest. Maybe I'll get like a pink handkerchief and put it on my head. Pink, yeah, that, pink bandana. Yeah, pink bandana, that'd be great. Statement. Um, high school football, Cruces goes to Alamo. That's actually tonight. This show's being filmed on Friday. We're a little late in the week on it. Cruces goes to Alamo. Cruces has been destroying opponents, and I really don't see that changing. God, we're really honest today. Yeah, we sure are. Sorry, we're Alamo. Brutal. Sorry, <laughs> Alamo. It's not going to happen. I watched Cruces play last week against Oñate and commit four turnovers, and they still scored 55 points. Mayfield has a bye, Onyate. Gadsden. Onyate goes to Gadsden. Tyler Stockburger down to Gadsden. <laughs> Stockburger down to Gadsden, yep. So hopefully um, they get a win. I think this is a winnable game for Onyate. Uh, Centennial hosts Rio Doso tonight. That game's actually being played at Centennial. Swiss uh, was originally at the Field of Dreams. Now they're christening their field. Um, and of course, on the weekend, Mayfield Cruces volleyball. Aggies. Their uh, crimson and white basketball scrimmage is at 1 p.m. at the Pan American Center. So there's a lot of things to do this weekend. Get out there. Yeah, enjoy this beautiful weather. Enjoy the, the local sports scene. Thank you, Burke. <laughs> no problem. No problem. That's what I'm here for. Thanks for joining us as always at Teddy Feinberg, at B Stockberger on Twitter, Sun News Sports Facebook, lcsun-news.com, all day, every day for the latest and greatest. And uh, you all enjoy your weekend, like we said earlier. <laughs>